It feels as though we've got free will. But how could a brain made of ordinary matter give rise to a mind which floated totally free from physical reality? So here's, here's where we are at this stage of intellectual history. We got this awful problem of free will and people are refusing to look at it the way they were refusing to look at consciousness 20 years ago. But if you're looking at consciousness, you gotta look at free will because it's one and the same set of problems. All right, there's no way we can think away our own conviction of free will. We cannot abandon it. It's a necessary presupposition of just living on a day-to-day -day basis, but we can't square it with the rest of the things we believe. So we got a straight, contradiction in every intellectual's conception of how the world works, that we got to resolve. We all have this very strong belief that we have conscious free will. And it's a central part of our idea of ourselves as individuals that we can want to do something, we can have an intention to do something, and then we can do it. We can make our intention drive our actions. And Benjamin Libet's work was one of the few experiments which made a, a truly innovative and courageous attempt to address that question. I can't feel it being cold. Patrick Haggard's team are going to measure my brain activity in the run-up to a conscious decision, with electrodes Two. placed on my scalp. OK, Susan, you're, hi, all, hi. Hello. you're all wired up and ready to go. Absolutely. We're going to record from your left motor cortex, mm -hmm. your right motor cortex, and from the midline. Mm -hmm. I want you to watch the clock hand, which mm -hmm. is rotating in this small clock in the centre of the screen. Mm -hmm. And then at any time that you choose, when you intend mm -hmm. and will to, mm -hmm. I want you to press either this key or this key. Uh, as good. the urge. As the urge takes you. Fine, OK. And then the computer will prompt you to type in the position of the clock hand at which you first felt the conscious will Fine. to press the button. Good. Any questions? No. Off we go. It's very funny waiting for the urge, isn't it? So watching the clock, I record the exact time that I make the decision to act, while the electrodes on my head monitor the activity in my brain leading up to this decision. As I do this over and over again, a clear pattern starts to emerge. So here are our results, which contain the same basic effect as Libet originally found. The average time of the intention to move was where this arrow is here. And you can see that the motor areas of the brain have begun to build up electrical activity in preparation for this willed action 2,000 milliseconds at least before the action actually occurs. Just as in Libet's original work, this experiment seems to show that my brain begins to prepare for movement long before I felt like I had consciously decided to move. So did I have any real choice about when I moved? Could the feeling of having made a decision just be an illusion? So this looks like a real problem for our idea of conscious free will because our assumption that we work with every day, I think, is that we decide what we want to do and then, or I should say, I decide what I want to do and then I am able to uh, get my brain to drive my body to make it happen. The actions and decisions we take every day, which feel like instant conscious choices, are actually the result of slowly emerging subconscious processes in the brain.